Hello students, so here's a quick video on how to play the easy guitar part for Watermelon Sugar. In this video I'm going to go through each section one by one and explain how we play them and then at the end of the video I'm going to do two playthroughs of the entire song, one at a slow pace and one at full speed. So let's just jump straight into it. Now there's in this throughout this entire song it just uses four chords. Um, so once we've learned these four chords, we've learned the majority of the song. So let's jump straight into the first verse. And this is where we get these four chords for the first time. So these four chords, we have D5, A5, C, and then G. Okay, so let's break these down. So the D5 chord, all we're doing is we're going to put one finger on 2nd fret G and then we're playing open D and then that 2nd fret G. Alright, so D5, open D, 2nd fret G and we're just playing those two strings. Alright, we don't want any other strings in there, just the open D, 2nd fret G and that's how we play D5. Then we go on to A5 and it's very similar to the D5. All we're doing is we're moving that finger onto the 2nd fret D and now we're playing open A and that 2nd fret D. Alright, so that's A5, open A, 2nd fret D. And again, just those two strings. Then we move on to a C chord. Now this C, all we're going to do is put one finger on the 1st fret B. Alright, and then we're going to play open G play that first fret B and then the open high E. So those bottom three strings. So that's open G, first fret B, open high E. And really make sure you're using the tip of your finger, right? Because we want this G and high E to ring out. So that's the C chord. Open G, first fret B, open high E. And then the last chord is the G chord which is simply just 3rd fret high E and then we're playing open G, open B and then that 3rd fret high E. So that's the G chord, open G, open B and then 3rd fret high E. We play them all together. So let's go through them again. D5, open D, 2nd fret G. A5, open A, 2nd fret D. C chord, open G, 1st fret B, open high E. And then the G chord, open G, open B, 3rd fret high E. Alright, so those are the verse chords, or the chords that we use for the entire song. Okay, and now the first verse and the pre-chorus are exactly the same. All we're doing is we're playing those chords and holding them for 4 beats each. So... First one, we'll go like this. We'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so the first verse, we play that twice. Pre chorus, exactly the same. We also play it twice. And then we go into the first chorus. Now, the chorus sections are a little different because although we're still, we're still playing these four chords, we're now playing the full chords in the chorus, which means we play D minor, A minor, C, and then G. Now in the first chorus we don't play the G, but for the next couple of choruses we do play the G. So I'll explain the four chords, um, but obviously just remember the first chorus doesn't have the G. Now. If you don't feel comfortable playing these chords, we can still play the D5, A5, C, and G for the chorus section, okay? Um, it's basically, they're just bigger versions of the chords, so you can still play those smaller chords if you want to. But anyway, here are the, the full chords that we do for the chorus section. Now, the first chord is a D minor. Now, in D minor, we don't play E, so the low E when we don't play A. We have an open D, and then we're going 2nd fret G with our middle finger, and then we're going 3rd fret B with our 3rd finger, and then 1st fret high E 
with our first finger and you play those four strings okay so open D second fret G third fret B first fret high E all right and then from there we go to an A minor chord all right and this chord we don't have low E we have an open A second fret D with our middle finger second fret G with our third finger and then our first finger is on first fret B okay and then we have an open high E at the top all right so A minor open A second fret D second fret G first fret B and then open high E that's the A minor chord and then we go on to a C now there's again there's no low E in this one but we've got third fret A with our third finger then we've got second fret D with our middle finger open G and then first finger is on that first fret B again and then we have an open high E this is a tricky chord but nothing a bit of practice can't fix Okay, so C, no low E, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, 1st fret B, and open high E. Alright, and then the last chord is the G chord. Alright, this one's again a little tricky, but again with a bit of practice we can play it. So, the G chord, we've got middle finger on 3rd fret low E. Then our first finger is going to go on 2nd fret A. And then we've got an open D, open G, open B. And then our third finger is going to go on the 3rd fret high E. Okay? And then we play all the strings for the G chord. So again, 3rd fret low E with our middle finger. 2nd fret A with our first finger open G sorry open D open G open B and then third fret high E with our third finger so then the chorus chords D minor A minor C and then G now like I said before the first chorus doesn't have the G chord at the end. So we'll just, if we look towards the second chorus, that's got all four chords in it. And we're going to talk a little bit about the rhythm now. So if you've got these chords down, you can play these chords. But like I said before, if you're not comfortable with those chords, you can just play the D5, A5, C, and the G. Now let's talk about the rhythm of the chorus because it's the same in every single chorus and this is the rhythm right so I'll give you a one two three four and just have a listen right one two three four all right so hear that we're going one two and four Now with the smaller chords, the D5, A5, C and G, they sound like this. One, two, three, four. And again, it's the same rhythm, okay? One, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. Okay, so those are the chords for the chorus. And then, the only thing we need to learn after that is the second verse. And the second verse, instead of playing those four chords like we do in the first verse, we're playing a little riff, okay? Which sounds like this. Again, one, two, three, and. Mm -hmm. 
So let's break that down. Um, so we're going. Open D first. And we hold that for two beats. So hold for two. And then we're going third fret D and open G. Now that third fret D and open G comes back in the next two bars as well. So open D and then third fret D, open G. Then we go to open A. And then we do that same thing again, third fret D, open G. Okay, so that's A for two, and then third fret D, open G. Then we go into third fret A, and then we go again, third fret D, open G. Okay, so third fret A for two beats, and then third fret D, open G. And the last one is the one that's different. We're going open D and then third fret A twice. Okay, so the last one, open D for two beats, and then third fret A, third fret A. So we're going nice and slow. This is verse two. We're going open D, three on D, open G, open A, three on D, open G, three on A, three on D, open G, open D. 3 on A, 3 on A. So again, even slower. Open D, 3 on D, open G. Open A, 3 on D, open G. 3 on A, 3 on D, open G, open D. 3 on A, 3 on A. Okay, and that's the second verse. And that is all the parts to the song. Um... After the second chorus, we've got like a down verse, which is exactly the same as the normal verse, except we're, again, we're just holding those chords. And we're using those chorus chords, right? Those full chords. But again, if you, if you don't feel comfortable playing those chords, again, we can just stick with those D5, A5, C, and then G. Okay? So, I hope that helps. So now we're gonna move on um, and I'm going to play through the song at a slow pace and then a full speed version. Okay, good luck. Okay, here we go. So this is Watermelon Sugar, easy guitar at a nice slow pace. Um, we come straight in after the vocals, so be ready on that D5 chord, okay? Be ready on it. So, Watermelon Sugar, slow pace. D5, ready to go. And D5. A5 C to G D5 A5 to C and G back to D5 pre chorus A5 A5 C G Okay, chorus 2, 3 and And wait to verse 2 
Right, so first, single four. Two, three, four, and. To C. Now G. Back to D minor. A minor. And now we've got eight beats rest. One, two, three, four. Chorus, two, three, go! D minor. A minor C G And again, two more times A minor Last time Single chords, D minor, A minor, C, to G. Watermelon sugar. There we go. Now onto the full speed version. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, the easy guitar part for Watermelon Sugar at full speed. So the song comes straight in with vocals. We need to be ready with that D5 chord, ready to come straight in, all right? So have your fingers ready on the second fret G, open D. Here we go. One man sugar, full speed. And. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And again. C G Pre-chorus A5 C G And again A5 C Right, chorus Sugar. 